Oh my gosh. I had this thing wrong the whole time. This came out in 1996, not in the 80s. All right, I'm glad I actually Googled this. So I purchased a set of two Casio CFX 9850G. Uh, that's the, the very first uh, graphing calculator from uh, Casio that had uh, a color display. And since I didn't have any uh, Casio calculator in my collection, I thought I would, uh, you know, I would, I would uh, uh, pick something up. So this is a set of two. And uh, it, they are going to be my very first Casio calculators. They were listed as, uh, as broken, so they were being sold for parts essentially. I guess uh, that should be clear by now. Okay. Uh, they are really ragged. <laughs> I know that much for sure. Uh, okay, so it's the first one goes here. Okay. I'm just hoping they don't have a bad uh, display because that would just uh, ruin everything, right? <laughs> All right, so look what we got here. You know, for uh, calculators that are nearly uh, 30 years old, <laughs> this is not bad at all. They both have some writing on them. SE27, SE20, I'm assuming this was for some schools or whatever. Okay, anyways, let's just dive into it. Uh, okay, so that comes off fairly easily. I don't know if that's normal. I would hope so. Okay, so I got some battery here. Nothing is happening. Okay, one thing I want to mention is that uh, the screen. On, oh, you can probably yeah, you can definitely see this on the camera. The screen is uh, heavily scratched. Guess. Uh, the pictures on eBay didn't do it justice, so well, that's fine. That's really fine. Okay, so this one definitely won't come on. I'm wondering if, uh, let's see, the display on these things are any good because they are both heavily scratched okay no power on this one either all right so not a big deal so far first impression i uh i was expecting the keys to be better you know the feel on the keys but they don't feel as nice as... okay so i guess we are going to dive into it so first thing first let's do this uh slowly so I'm gonna take this off first. The back of battery. I don't even know how to open this thing. We'll figure it out. Okay. Does it come off easily? Oh wait, wait a minute. Was this supposed to be down or up? Does it have anything to do with the oh no, never mind. Wait, what if, what if this thing is only going to work when the back cover is closed? That would be, that would be really dumb if you ask me. Okay, yeah, I didn't think so, because that would have been really dumb, huh? Imagine if uh, the back cover had to be closed in order for the calculator to work. That's not the case. Okay. So <laughs> at least we got that out of the way. So let's move further. Let me, I haven't even tried everything. So let me leave the battery in and uh, reset it. I can do that using uh, this pin right here. I got everything ready. Hmm. This thing won't even. Oh, 
okay nothing still so I'm gonna try to uh, remove this backup battery I don't even know if I'm going about it the right way uh, probably not probably not okay that's fine so I'm just gonna go ahead and open this up I mean I was going to open them up anyways because uh, you know they, there could be some corrosion in it so I put this back before I lose it definitely I don't want to lose that okay so now I'm gonna pause it uh, what the hell let me not pause it let me just uh, these are not screws for sure there seems to be uh, just a couple of screws three I can see so far uh, okay these screws are really small they seems to be like uh, m2 by threes with a three diamond i mean three uh three millimeter head as you can see they are pretty tiny so you definitely don't want to lose this okay so i'll remove okay there's a port one here okay so uh, i got four screws and uh Yeah, the rest should be easy, right? So let's work our way around it gently. One, two, three, four, yeah. Just four screws. That is not bad at all. Okay. Let's see, I'm gonna... This is kind of hard to do behind the camera, but I'm trying my best though. I gotta be gentle with this because I'm not familiar with uh, these calculators. I don't know how to work out a bit. I have no idea how to make this work, but since the screws are not there, I mean, we just gotta, okay, so this is not good. This is not good. I'm gonna start from the top if I can. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me just do this behind the camera really quick okay I think I'm almost done uh, maybe not quite okay so far what I wanna say is that uh, this thing is uh, <laughs> this thing is really uh, badly put together I don't know if uh, that has something to do with uh, uh, the uh, the age of the calculator but this thing is uh, really badly put together really really badly <laughs> this is definitely the worst calculator i've ever taken apart it's uh the plastic is just unbelievably hard to work with i guess that was the intended goal i don't even know if it's missing some stuff here i don't know if anybody has ever been in, inside of this calculator because back in the 80s i think they had some kind of static protection here on here like you would normally see on those uh ti calculator but i could be wrong again i don't know anything about this calculator it's my first time being inside of one so it is what it is, but this was unbelievably hard to take apart. Okay, and uh, so <laughs> I was glad that uh, there were not a lot of screws, but here we are. It's uh, a bunch of more screws. Okay, so I guess this is the reset thing. I'm not even sure. It was over here, and I'm pretty sure it goes in here. Yeah, I would think so. I think this is supposed to be for the reset or this I don't know anyways I just want to see if I can get this thing to work uh, let's go and uh, take this off first okay the screws are the same size so we don't need to worry about mixing them up
Okay. Yeah, I'm getting frustrated. The internal doesn't look too bad so far. Probably, yeah, we can probably remove this. It's just uh, a plastic that holds the screen together, but I'd rather leave it as is. So I move those two screws. I don't know what else is being held on. Oh, okay. So there are more over here. Okay, I'm wondering, could I have taken this off first? Nope. Okay, so all these screws are identical, so I don't have to worry about misplacing the screws here. I'm really, I don't know what to do because uh, there are no screws here. This is unbelievable. Okay, so there was a screw here. How was that? Wow. Engineers, engineers. <laughs> I have to pause the video just to put uh, these uh, keys back together so in the meantime uh, what else something else that I noticed is uh, you know this little thing right here the, uh, for the cover like when, when you put this when you push this up oh, oh okay that's great, great that's just great so this metal connector is supposed to come into contact with uh, this uh, this part of the board right here so I just uh, pushed it up a little bit and see if uh, that's gonna make any change. So I'm gonna put it back together and see if uh, if I'm gonna get lucky. Okay, so there you go. I believe uh, that was the issue. Uh, so the little metal I show you that just need to be in contact with the motherboard. And uh, this is the first time this boots up and uh, reset all memory. Okay, so this is what it actually looks like. Okay, I don't even know how to use this. I don't even know what to do here. Uh, let's see. <laughs> okay, is this even working properly? Because I wouldn't know. Uh, the display seems to be fine. And uh, yeah, it's because I haven't uh, properly closed this. I just uh, uh, closed the, uh, the bottom part of it. What if I press menu? Okay, none of these keys are responding, so that could be another problem. It could be maybe because the key aren't coming to contact, but uh, since I know that this one boots up fine, I'm gonna go ahead and close it and uh, check all the keys to see if uh, they work. They should do, I would think so. Right. Okay, so I uh, close everything, and man, I gotta tell you. This is going to be the last time I purchase a Casio calculator, at least the legacy ones, because this thing is uh, this thing is unbelievably like dumbly. I'm using the word dumb here, D U M B, dumbly put together. This thing is just ridiculous, you know. And while I was closing it, I think these uh, pad right here. I was trying to put this in, and uh, somehow I managed to. I don't know if uh, he had this before. I can't. I don't remember seeing this, but I think this was caused by me uh, trying to uh, put this thing back together. It's not a big deal. It does not really affect the screen that bad. So uh, I guess uh, that is that. So all the keys are working so far. Let's just do a quick graph. Okay, most graphing calculators are very similar. So if you are used to one. Uh, you can uh, figure out 
how to use uh, any graphing calculator. Okay, that was really quick. Okay, so I'm back in menu. So it's uh, actually the first, the very first option. So what it says run. Uh, if I click execute, then I can just uh, do my uh, normal operations here. And the display is actually uh, really legible. You know, I like it. It's not too complicated to see. It's actually much better than uh, the uh, TI-92 that came in 1995. This thing is, uh, is almost uh, 10 years older than the TI-92. But I mean the TI-92. Yeah, and uh, it has a much, much better display. This was the first color graphing calculator. And uh, mm, you can't really dis distinguish the colors that much because, you know, the technology was kind of old. And, uh, or the technology, should I say, the technology was kind of new at the time. But it is perfectly usable though. And I'm actually surprised by the graphing speed. I thought the graphing speed was going to be very, very, very slow. Because this is, keep in mind, this is almost 30 years old. I'm keeping, I'm, I keep saying 30 years old. Let's see. Uh, I just, I'm just going to Google this really quick. Uh, see when it came out. Because I don't really know anything about uh, casual calculators. Oh my gosh. I had this thing wrong the whole time. This came out in 1996, not in the 80s. All right, I'm glad I actually Googled this. Uh, 9850G, was this the, okay, what was the first casual calculator? The first casual graphing calculator with the color LCD. Uh, you know, uh, I don't really care. I don't want to know. But I don't know that I'm, I'm, nef I'm, I'm never going to buy a, a legacy Kaiser calculator again because this thing is just a pain to work with. I don't like it. It's too complicated. You can easily break things in, on the inside if you're not too careful. All right. So in theory, this thing is not gonna work if the latches are closed. But once you, I mean, if the latch is open, once you open it. It's not gonna work once you close it it's gonna boot right back that's interesting so i guess this is how you tie it that's really interesting anyways yeah so we got that out of the way uh i'm gonna set that aside take out the battery first didn't put this rubber in because i you know <laughs> yeah i know this video is really negative but you know i mean when engineers when they do dumb stuff just to keep uh you out of your um your product that you purchase with your our hard earned money. I mean, this is how frustrated people get. I imagine back in the 90s, imagine how much money people would have people people spend on these things. And there's the fourth one here. I had to stop the video at some point to make a second recording uh, because my phone was kind of getting hot. I don't really like doing that, but uh, it is what it is. So I'm probably gonna have to edit this video, which kind of sucks. And uh, the metal thing is really fragile. It can easily break. So I wonder what what what, what would you do if, if that happens? So anyways, that is that. Okay, so the second one, let me try this again. Let me switch this off first. I don't want to open this. I don't know if I did it with the second one. I don't want to open it. Okay, so I, I shoot. I'm actually starting to wonder. Maybe I didn't even have to do that with the first one. You know, I just had to wait a little longer. Because uh, if you watch the video, I think the first one, uh, when I push this, uh, uh, to the, when, when I push this up. Okay, so. Okay, yeah, definitely to open this. As you can see, as soon as I touch it, maybe if I close this one, yeah, as soon as I touch it, it's gonna reset itself. So it's not coming, it's, it's not making a full contact with the with the board. So I still have to open it. Yeah, that really sucks. This thing was really well. This thing was really ba was badly put together. Really badly put together. It's, uh, I don't even know how he, uh, he managed to last this long. I don't even know how he lasted. How long he lasted? But you know, fanboys, consumers would buy anything that is shiny, fancy, even though it is trash. But this thing is. This thing was literally trash. 
Uh, I don't even think I need to remove the backup battery. So move these four screws right here. So you just need to uh, lift that metal, lift it up a little bit. Okay, since I opened the first one, I have uh, some little experience, so I'm gonna try and see if I can do this uh, quickly behind the camera. I don't really care if it breaks, cause I mean, I don't wanna. <laughs> this is how this is how this is not how you make a product. You no, know, I just to be on the safe side. Let me just remove this one really quick, cause all calculators are different. I know for a fact that on TI calculators, you never have to remove these. Uh, let me even remove this just to be on the safe side. Okay, now that's out of the way. Uh, let's try and uh, see what we can do. And you want to make sure you have the calculator facing down because the key might spill. And if uh, they do, then you're gonna be spending a lot of time trying to put them back together, like I, I did. And the display is uh, up here on on the top. So if you're not careful, you can easily break the display here. Maybe that's what happened uh, when I was working with the first one. And just make sure you don't go all, you don't go too deep inside, because this thing is uh, the plastic is just unbelievable. And the top one is is what is where it get is it get worse. And this is really thin. This is really, really thin. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be this hard. It should not be this hard at all. I can see the display. You know, it feels like you are breaking it. It really feels like it. It sounds like it. I might have broken it. I think I broke it. I don't really care. This is dumb, man. People who made this hard were dumb people, man. This is messed up. Okay, you see this thing? It's all the way to the bottom. So, and this thing uh, become loose over time. I don't know what, what, what this thing is doing here. This little tip right here. I don't know what's the point of it. Okay, so I guess the tip was meant to uh, prevent this from... Nah, never mind. And I think the first one didn't have it either. It didn't have it or I misplaced it. But again, it is what it is. So I'm just gonna lift this up a little bit. Okay, now I'm just gonna go and close it, just like this. Uh, I don't know what's happening. It's, it won't turn on anymore. Not my problem. I am through with this calculator. I don't know what's going on, but uh, let's see if I press it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, my advice to you, if you see any of these, just uh, skip them, because they, when they break, that's it. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else I could be doing. Uh, let's see. Okay, uh, quick update. They are now both working just fine. I uh, guess I don't know what's going on, but I'll put back the battery in it and then close it because in the video, I think I did everything right <laughs> except for you know bashing them here and there. But uh, they are both working just fine, and uh, the color is not really uh, it's not really that noticeable at least indoor. But uh, you actually can see it better on the phone through my camera than you would be able to see in real life, at least in a darker environment. But uh, they are both really uh, well. They are the same. It's, they are the same model. But uh, yeah, it is really a quick graphing calculator. Definitely has uh, some uh, good stuff in it. 
as far as graphing, you can uh, you know find an intersection and and finding intersections on these is actually much easier than any other gra graphing calculator I've used, even on the uh, even on the HP Prime, which is which actually surprised me. You know, back in 1996, their software was a lot better. All right, so yeah, you always I mean you have to give credit what it is due. So yeah, that is that. Uh, if you have any questions, just make sure you put it in the comment section.